I've not said the tripod up because I can't be asked. I can't imagine this is going to be a world beating uh, money making video on YouTube, but this is a, a CDP M75. It's a 1990 CD player. Absolutely bulletproof classic Sony player that has been sent in for repair. Unfortunately, uh, I've not opened it up yet, but I'll tell you now, it's fucked. The laser's fucked. I'm going to go in there and prove it and I'll show you, but um, it's just a real shame. If you've got anything like this, enjoy it now because this is dying. And uh, you won't be able to get the, the laser pickup for this for 10 years. And even if you find one now, it'll be fucked in the box, as I'll go into in a minute. But yeah, it's a real classic. I'll B-roll it now so you can see. But um, probably one of the first top-end Sony players. Real shame. This one, uh, it will play. But as soon as you make a fart nearby, it just cuts off. But yeah, if you've got anything like this, lasery. Um, I'm a big fan of mini discs. They're all dying. It's a shame because this thing's built like a fucking brick shit house. I love looking inside. Let's have a nose. This will probably be a, a really boring video for anyone that watches the normal stuff. But in my spare time, in, in the in the garage of fucking doom, I like to repair things. And this is a classic rock solid Sony made in Japan CD player. I think it's about 30 years old. And the annoying thing is, you play playing the background. Watch this. Literally, the slightest wobble and it trips. And it's because the laser is lazy, so I'll stop it because this will copyright strike anyway. I'll just unplug it so I don't blind myself with the laser. But in here, also look at this. Look, it's absolutely pristine. It's absolutely pristine. It's like new. I'm not even joking. It's like the buttons aren't even worn. It's been used a lot. It's like new. So in here, you've got the laser. And on the lazy of these runners and stuff, and on there there's normally a grease. Well, the grease is not hard, which is the first thing to look out for. The grease is not hard, which means the sled, which is this bit, can freely run. And it will freely run. It's it's fighting against me at the minute now, but I don't want to wreck it. But yeah, this grease is nice and white. The laser in there, that's the laser. Don't listen to people on the internet. Don't go cleaning them with isopropyl alcohol because that laser lens is not made out of glass is made out of plastic so if you put isopropyl alcohol on that it's highly likely that you'll smear it and what the problem is is that laser is reading the disc no problem but the laser is what they call laser I'll spin you around Oop. this is the kss 150a laser pickup unit yeah they stopped making these there's my finger Stopped making them about 10 years ago. If you Google it, you'll see posts from 2011 where people are begging to get their hands on one. And what is lying around of these is new old stock. So anything that you can find of these is old stock in the box. Um, but it's brand new, but it's just stuck in the box. The problem is that they're very prone to static and stuff. And after being stored for the best part of 20 years, you get them. You can buy them brand new on eBay still. and thingy, But when they turn up, they're already fucked. You might buy three or four and get a decent working one, but effectively it's already halfway through its working life, if ever. So, yeah, I'm afraid um, I used to have great success repairing CD players and mini disc players. But what I will say to you is, is now I've got a, a thousand pound mini disc player next door. Anything like this that uses these lasers is dead. It's dead. It's already dead. It might not be dead yet, but it's going to die. And it's a real shame because look at it inside. It's a piece of art. Obviously, people have got CDs and stuff. All top quality caps and that. Not a bit of bulging going off or anything. Absolutely nothing going off. But yeah, I'm afraid CD players like this, they're dead. And it's just because of, in that laser, there's a cup that wobbles around to pick up the laser. So the sled moves to read the CD, like a record goes along it like that. But in that laser, if you knock it, there's a, there's a series of magnets that can move it around to pick up the laser. And you'll see when I do a little tap, it's because those magnets have now gone weak. And they're not able to move the laser to keep it in the groove. So there's nothing wrong with the laser itself. Nothing wrong with the sled. But the little magnetic coils in there are knackered. So yeah. Unfortunately, if you've got anything like this, don't leave it sat there and not enjoy it. Enjoy it because once these are gone, the quality CD players. You can still buy CD players, don't get me wrong. But quality ones like this, once they're dead, 35, 40 years old now. Once they're dead, they're dead. And they ain't never coming back. You'll be forced to buy a shitty CD player. In fact... There's a mini display up there, and uh, I think that's about a £2,000 CD player on the top, which uh, a customer never even wanted to get back because I told them the lasers weren't available. They checked it out themselves, and there's a two grand CD player up there that'll never work again. So, yeah, it's just a real shame. Yeah, technology, it's digital now. Sorry, chaps. Your CDs are all fucking worthless.